Today we're going to cover all the ways that you can save new snippets to your pieces database. We're going to start in the desktop app and we're going to go right down to add snippets. The first option is simply a copy and paste of whatever code that you want to save. So we can head over to our IDE and for example, we will copy this class and close out of this and simply paste it right into pieces desktop app and that snippet is now saved for us to reference later. Another way for us to add new snippets is through our snippet discovery feature. You can upload single files, entire folders, or even GitHub gist, which we'll cover later on. For now, let's just upload a file. We'll select one of our local files and it'll go through that file and give us some options that it thinks might be really good to save. We'll save a couple of them and that's great. The third option is actually just creating it from scratch. So we can write a simple hello world and we can even reclassify this. Let's say it's actually JavaScript, not TypeScript. And if we want to customize the name, we can as well, but we'll just save that with control S or command S and now it's saved. Now the fourth way is to describe a snippet for pieces to generate for you. So we'll actually use one of these suggested descriptors and let's use unstable cache from query. We'll give it a second to generate and that's perfect. Save to pieces. Successfully saved. Perfect. The fifth way is to actually use one of our plugins. So we're going to head over to the browser using our browser extension. Every code block in a web page is actually given custom buttons. This allows you to do a set amount of functions inside pieces. For example, we'll just save this code and you'll see that it appears right in the desktop app. Now the sixth way is like we mentioned before, we can import GitHub gist. So I've already synced my GitHub account. If you haven't, it'll ask you to do so, but now it's going through my GitHub account and discovering the gist that I have. But once it's complete, it'll give us some gist that we can possibly save into our own pieces database, just like so. We'll back out and show the seventh way. So if we want to, for example, duplicate one of our already saved snippets, we can simply duplicate it and maybe we want to make a couple changes to this, but keep the original, or maybe we want to save, um, this kind of original state so that we can share it with others while being able to update this one as well. Now this eighth one is actually really cool. So you can upload an entire file as a snippet and this, is really, really useful because it essentially acts like a local storage system. And so it'll give you tons of relevant information about the file and you don't necessarily have to worry about sifting through what you want and don't want to save. And last but not least, you can explore a curated collections list. This is great for getting started or maybe getting some inspiration. You can simply add some of our favorite languages here and we'll save those. And you can see it adds tons of snippets to our database and even goes ahead and enriches all of them for us. Thanks for watching this quick tutorial on all the ways to save snippets to your pieces database. And make sure to check out our other videos for more tutorials and guides on the pieces desktop app. I'll see you in the next video.